Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday afternoon. Uh, it's about almost 3 o'clock now. We are starting a little late this afternoon here. So let's see. Today's topic is uh, let's talk about fake pressure. So what is fake pressure? I think the best way to describe is you know what? I have to show you. Okay. I think seeing is a lot better than you know I explain to you guys. Okay, so let me flip it over. Okay, right now I'll be you know I'll be warming up for a while. So let's look at some temperature. Let's see. My brew temperature, the boiler temperature around 180. My group head, I'm looking at let's say 150 degree. I guess I'd like to see about like 180 here. So let's, you know what, let's meantime, let's grind some coffee. Okay. I'm using 13 gram. Uh, I just opened up uh, Guatemala beans here, the direct tray from Guatemala. The direct tray means you directly deal with uh, the grower uh, in Guatemala. So. Okay, let's get, so again, I'm using the smaller basket, so 13 gram. I got my handy and then the plunge there. Watch this. You see that all the remnant of cubbins coming out there. Okay. So right now we are so so this one is built in uh, 90. So this one has a pressure stat, which means uh, my pressure is go about one bar pressure, and the boiler stop uh, you know stop working, stop heating. So. As you can see, starting to going up there. Hopefully, I can ex uh, hopefully I can show you that what that fake pressure is. I'm just gonna wait it a little longer. Here we go. The pressure is starting to going up. Okay. So right now, uh, has a deal. So since every uh, since they're boiling the uh, boiling the water. So building up a lot of pressure, okay? You know what, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna release the initial pressure here. You're gonna, uh, let me show you what that is. So right now we are at what? Uh, 0.5 bar right now. Let's release it. And then the pressure is went down a little bit. This is not a good example, okay? Because I, you know why? I know why. Because earlier, uh, I made a coffee earlier. So, because that's already heat up anyway. Maybe I'm gonna show you guys maybe next, uh, next Thursday. But meantime, let's start making some coffee here. Okay. By the way, uh, is how many of you out there thinking about getting Lapaboni, okay? Let me know in the comment section, okay? Because this is fantastic machine, and this is all manual. There's no machine here. A single boiler machine. This is really big, a 1.6 liter, and plus it gets really, really hot. So let's see here. We're at 216. Okay, so now we have to work fast. Okay, it's getting really hot. I'm just going to remove it. Okay, here we go. Unfortunately, this one uses a 49 millimeter. So there's no 49 millimeter dosing funnel. I'm just going to, I'm using my homemade dosing funnel here. So this is about 49 millimeter. Just going to flip it over. Like so. I got my distribution tool. Uh, temp. Comes to temping pressure, just be consistent, okay? I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't usually go like 
30 pound pressure is more like just form pressure. I'm just going to purge a little bit. It's really hot water here. We are right there, okay. Let's get going. You know what, maybe I can switch out the camera angle. There we go. I'm just gonna lock it in. I got 13 gram in, I'm shooting for around 30 gram out, okay? Just gonna lock. I'm gonna start time when first drop hits. I'm just gonna doing the pre-infusion right now. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit here. There we go, that's better view. Okay, so I see the first drop, I'm just gonna pull back and start squeezing. I'm shooting for again, uh, around 30 gram. Looks really good. And again, you can actually control the pressure. Since this is a leveler. Okay. Perfect. I got 28 seconds. Look at the, look at the shot quality. Looks pretty good. You know what, let's uh, make like small latte. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get some milk. Uh, ideally, use whole milk, okay, if you can. Uh, whole milk does much better job. I'm just gonna purge for a second here. He does a really great job. Come to your milk uh, frosting. Frosting. So we are doing actually more like flat white uh, this afternoon. Okay. I'm just gonna shut it down. Oh, don't forget to wipe. Okay. Don't forget to wipe your steam wand there and another perch. Okay, so let's do some little bit of latte art. Okay, here we go. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Could be a little better, but... Okay, so, hold on a second. Let me flip the camera back. Actually, how many of you out there watching right now owns a uh, Lapaboni at home? Uh, please let me know in the comment section as well, okay? Let's see who we got, who's on this afternoon. We have Kelly, Florian, Justin, and we have uh, It Osh, I think. We got Manuel joining us as well, and Kelly. Okay. Okay, by the way, I mean, as you can see, I have a lot of coffee gadgets, okay? So, you know, let's try this coffee. It's more like flat white. Cheers, everybody. Smells great.
You know what? How many of you actually you guys really enjoy the just the just the milk and coffee espresso? Personally, you know, I think I need a shot of caramel. Okay, hold on a sec. I always enjoy my caramel, so I don't do much though. I only do about maybe one shot. Okay, here we go, guys. It's gonna be a lot better. Cheers. Man, you know, hit the spot there. It's great. And the Kelly say, goodness, four to five latte a day. That's a lot, Kelly. Okay. Man, that's a lot. Okay. Maybe I do about, uh, okay, so I drink a one, uh, one, one cup in the morning. Uh, I usually pull the double shot, one with like flat white or the other uh, half shot for like uh, Americano. And then afternoon, for my weekdays, this is it, okay? Between like one and three, I drink, you know, again, just one shot there. We got Don say three, okay? Man, three, okay. So Kelly is at four to five. And let's see here. And then uh, we got Ermet say what, three in the morning and then two in the afternoon. Man, that's quite a bit. Okay, so again, I mean, if you are thinking about getting Lapaboni as your main machine, I don't know, okay? I mean, if you have like Bravo Barista Express at home, if you're gonna play with other machines, that's pretty good. But if this is your only machine, for your, okay, if you are by yourself, if you are single, that's great. Okay, that, I mean, that's great. But, uh, if you have family likes to drink, you know, a lot of milk-based drink, so this is not the idea. Okay, so this is not here because this gets, okay, so I shut it off for what, last few minutes. Hold on, let me flip it over. Flip the camera. Here we go. So it's been off for what, few minutes now, five minutes? This is like 210 degree, okay? It gets really hot. And uh, one, uh, 140, so it's not too bad there. So the problem with, I mean, if you guys are getting one, just make sure you get the Pro model, okay? So Pro model has a much bigger uh, boiler. So, th uh, so this is a Lapaboni Pro, built in 90s. Uh, but I think nowadays you can go with a, like a Euro Piccola. If you go with a smaller model, the problem is you go through a lot of water. So, I mean, you cannot just open it up during the, uh, so when you, are, uh, when, you, during, when you are making coffee, because you have to cool down first. So you have to depressurize before you're going to open this thing up here. So why, what I usually do is I usually purge first. By the way, do not try this one at home, okay? I usually perch, and then I'm gonna start releasing the valve. I think I'm gonna wait a little bit. And then I'm gonna refill the water after that. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for a little bit to at least cool down even longer. So again, just make sure uh, whenever you're making coffee with the Lapuboni, Make sure you have a full tank of water, okay? Let's see. Uh, Kelly say, uh, addict to, okay, so don't eat sweets, but love my coffee, okay? That's great. Because you know what, I mean, how, how, many, how many of you out there drink more than five cups a day? Okay, let me know in the comment section as well. Goodness. So this is my last cup of day. And the, in the uh, at home, sometimes if you, if I feel like it, I usually try out the decaffeinated coffee. But that's about it. So anyway, uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful mo uh, afternoon. And then let's see. So tomorrow, uh, we're gonna do a lapaboni tomorrow. Okay, uh, not not lapaboni, the flare tomorrow. And then I got some really cool to uh, cool gadget from uh, 
cry my copy products. Maybe I can give you guys a preview on this. Okay, let me uh, show you guys a little preview for hopefully tomorrow. So this is a tamping tool slash uh, leveler, a uh, distribution tool from Crema Coffee Products. Actually, it's really cool. I mean, it's great for if you want to flare. Hold on. Oh, then maybe I can show you guys. So, so check this out. Okay. Maybe. So this is a so one side is a distribution tool, and other side is a, a tamping tool, kind of like uh, kind of like palm temper. But this is a thirty-nine point three millimeters, so it's very precise. Okay. And then I I wish they do like forty-nine millimeter for my Lapaboni, it'd be great. But yeah. So this one is going to be a great addition to my the flare toolbox there. Again, I'm going to shout out to Matt from Crema. So we are going to play with this one tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow or maybe Saturday. Okay. Hopefully tomorrow morning. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Okay. Okay, hold on a second. So I think we are almost cooled down. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, so now it's cooled down. So. So this is, I mean, if you need to have to, you can actually release the valve now. But again, I mean, that's just a one big giant boiler. So make sure, be do not try this one at home, okay? Just make sure everything is cooled down before you guys release the uh, valve on the top there. I'm just gonna close the steamer. And then let's uh, let's take a look at the puck. Okay, let's re uh, check out the puck. Puck looks good. Okay, not too bad. dry. Yeah, pretty good. Anyway, uh, let's see. We got, let's see, we, are, we have uh, Emmet say Ermet, mentioned about 53 millimeter in black. Yep, so 53 millimeter fits in Bravo. So I think Crema just came up with 53.3 millimeter, I think. It's more precise. I think that's the, their uh, updated model. So make sure to check out their updated one too. We got Traverse City, City Safe. Okay, yeah, five cups is too much, okay? So, I mean, again, I, I do about two at the most, maybe three, but two is kind of like my maximum. So, uh, Justin asked me, what is my favorite battle bone cuff? You know what? So far, I really enjoy the Guatemala so far, okay? Make sure to check out these guys. They are uh, Tucson based, small, small coffee roasters. I thought price was pretty good. I think they're selling for like sixteen or seventeen dollars per bag. That's not too bad. I don't know. Uh, I don't know about the shipping cost though. Okay. And then uh, let's see here. Justin say, will the temper work the funnel? You know, I think so. Okay, I think. Hold on. So this is the flare funnel. Yep, Justin, it might work. Yeah, it does work. Okay, it, it's gonna be fine. So it, it's gonna be does work with this. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful uh, Thursday afternoon. You know what? I think I might jump into Instagram. Okay, uh, if you guys want to feel like joining us there, uh, make sure join us there on Instagram. Make sure press like on this video. Again, so every Thursday is a lot of money. So hopefully we are going to build a community there. I mean, you guys can join us every Thursday. And then we can kind of like share our tips and tricks. Since I got my computer set up right on this screen here. So now I can see all your questions right now. So it's going to be fun. Okay. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday and see you guys soon.